Good morning, guys. What's going on, y'all? Happy Thursday, I think it is. <laughs> I swear, sometimes I forget what day it is. Um, hey, I just wanted to make a quick video in here for you guys uh, with some thoughts that I had after completing my three-day refresh and maybe some recommendations for you if you have either never done it in the past and are curious to try it or if you've done it in the past and didn't have the results that you wanted. Um, here's kind of my take on it. Okay, so I made a photo album in this group with my step-by-step-by-step -step -step, uh, process of the three-day refresh. Um, from a before picture to everything that I ate and, um, and then an after picture. Okay, so thought number one is anytime you take on something like this, whether it's a three-day cleanse or whether it's a 21-day fitness program, my um, approach is to always document what I'm doing. Okay, because you're doing something that's out of your normal habit, and if you don't pay attention to what you're doing, it's super easy to slip back into your old habit, like without even realizing it, even with something as structured as, a, as the three-day cleanse. Um, so that's why I take pictures of like almost every single thing I eat, um, especially on a cleanse like this. It's a great visual reminder. I'm a super visual learner, but it's a great visual reminder of like what I what actually satisfied me, right? What was enough? Um, because <clears throat> I know for me, I'm a foodie. I love food. I love to eat lots of food if I could get away with it <laughs> and, uh, and still stay in shape is um, I tend to drift into this mindset that I need more food, right? I'm hungry. I, I'm not satisfied. And over time, my portions creep up and creep up and creep up until before I know it, you know, I've gained five pounds just because of having those little bits and pieces of extra um, you know, seconds or a grab a handful of this, handful of that. So, um, when you're starting a journey like this, like the three day refresh or any program, I highly encourage you to document what you're doing. You get to choose how you do that. I personally like to do it in pictures. Um, that's why I take those pictures and post them here for you guys to see. Um, second thing is when you choose to do something like the refresh, it doesn't necessarily always have to be because you want to lose weight. Okay, um, I knew after the holidays, um, especially like right around the New Year's, like we really blew it out on New Year's Eve with the food. And although I hadn't gained like weight over the month of December, right? Um, since I finished quarter force, I was just kind of maintaining at that same level of weight. But I was definitely feeling crappy. I was feeling like bloated and like weird digestion and tired and really feeling my cravings kick in for junk food and cheat meals and all the stuff that I know I don't want to be uh, tempted with when, when I'm going into my New Year's goals, right? So I actually did this program not to lose weight. Um, I did it to reset my mindset and reset my eating habits. Um, it's a great cleanse for that. So if you feel like you're like teetering on the edge of going off the rails <laughs> on your food, um, or your habits, right? Your consistency. This is a great way to kind of snap yourself back into align <laughs> alignment um, because it just gives you a super simple structure to follow. Um, it gives you very basic choices. So there's no really room for error. There's no room for you to mess it up um, or fail, you know, so to speak, fail. Um, and, and three days, your body is feeling different. Your digestion is moving along better. I personally find that I sleep so much better when I eat this way. Um, and inevitably a lot of times you will drop some pounds. You know, some people do, some people don't. I've done this cleanse probably four to five times. I'll have to look again. Um, and I've lost anywhere from no weight to seven plus pounds. It just depends on how bad I was being before. Okay. How much water weight, how much bloat, how much, um, ick I have in my system. Okay. So that's number two is if you're wanted, if you want to, you don't have to be in the mindset of like, Oh, I need to lose weight to do a cleanse like this. You can definitely do it and not lose weight. Right. Um, if you're concerned about that, you can always increase, um, have a, have a second snack, but you just want to stick to the foods that are on the plan. Right. Instead of going, Oh, I'm going to do this cleanse. And then I'm going to go have some fries too. <laughs> No. Um, if you don't want to lose weight, if you want to make sure you're not losing weight using a cleanse like this, then just add in an extra snack from the approved food list. Okay. Um, a couple other thoughts that I had, and then I'll cut this off, is 
Um, one of the reasons I love this cleanse, you know, you can see that this is the book that comes with it. It's like really tiny. It's like I said, it's super simple, easy to follow. Um, is it gives you like a perfect map. I, I think I've said this before in this group that I struggle with food when I have to make too many decisions. So even like with the 21 day fix, sometimes I struggle because I'm like, okay, um, I get to decide what goes in those containers and I get to decide when I have the containers and how I space them out and all that stuff. And um, honestly, for my squirrel brain, sometimes that's too much. <laughs> I really like it when someone tells me exactly what to do because then I can just do it and then think about something else besides food. So that's part of why I love this thing, right? You get a daily plan. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because my lighting in here is always so shit. But uh, you get a daily plan, right, that tells you exactly what to do. You know, drink your water in the morning, have your breakfast an hour later, tea, snack, da da da, da and it goes on and on and on for every part of the day. And so what I literally do, guys, back to that whole documenting thing, is I write on here what I had and when I had it. Um, that way on day two, when I was feeling hungry in the... I was feeling kind of hungry in the evening. I was like, well, what, what did I do different? You know, um, I can go back and look. Um, so that's number, I guess, I don't know what number that is, but you follow the plan. It's so simple. So if you're concerned that it's going to be too hard or you're concerned that it's going to be like terrible and scary, just know that they tell you exactly what to do step by step. And it's basic, like beyond basic. Um, all you got to do is follow it. And it's only three days. Okay. Um, some things that I wanted to mention, uh, oh, and then, sorry, last thing was, um, they actually come, the kit comes now with this maintenance guide, which is really cool. Cause the question I always get is, okay, well, great. You lost five pounds in three days, but then don't you gain it right back? And the answer is no. If you continue to use the habits that you learn over those three days, perfect example. Um, I tend to get away from drinking water in the morning, right? That's one of the things that they make you do. They make you start with a big, big glass of water every morning. Well, lo and behold, that wakes you up. It also starts to fill you up. It gets things rolling. Um, it's really great for you. But for whatever reason, when I drift away from my good habits, I stop doing that. Um, same thing with my Shakeology. Hello, Shakeology. Um, I tend to get in this mode of putting tons of stuff in my shake. Right. And that, I mean, that definitely has its purpose, right? On days when I know I'm not going to get to eat for like five, four or five hours, I will load up my shake with extra stuff, fruit, um, nut butter, uh, maybe some oats, chia seeds, stuff like that. Things that'll add more calories to that 200 calorie a shake. Um, but on a day where I'm going to be doing like nothing but sitting on my butt and doing maybe a yoga workout, I definitely don't need that extra 200, 250 calories, right? And I forget that, right? Because you just get in the habit of throwing extra stuff in there. So my point on that was, is if you document what you're doing and note down like the habits that you maybe surprised yourself with, like, oh, maybe I didn't need all that stuff in my shake to stay full until my morning snack. Um, maybe I didn't need to have that extra latte or coffee in the afternoon to stay alert when I'm eating foods that actually give me energy. Um, maybe my afternoon snack doesn't need to be this big. It needs to be this big, right? And, you know, maybe at dinner, I don't need to have four pieces of bread. I need to have a big salad with some protein on it, right? So those things that you're learning from doing the cleanse and noting them down so that you can remember them after the moment has passed, that is what you want to sort of weave into your plan afterwards. This maintenance guide is almost identical to the 21 day fix, right? It just eases you into that. Uh, style of eating with the containers and the portions and eating every few hours. Okay, so there's no like magic secret in here. Um, last thing I'm going to mention that I'm going to cut this off is um, I did this cleanse uh, this time. I did it sort of uh, a little bit looser than I have in the past. The first two times I did the cleanse, I was like strict with my portions. Okay, um, I was, I followed exactly what they said in that guide. And like I said, one time I did it, I lost five pounds. The next time I did it, I lost like no weight. And so again, it just depends on where your body is before you start. Um, uh, this time I just said, hey, I'm gonna do it to get in the habit of better eating. And so I was a little looser with my portions. Um, namely because, um, number one, I was still working out. Uh, they give you the option to work out on this cleanse. So I picked the time to do it during a time when I had 
lower key workouts to do. Like P90X3 has a transition week and all you do is like Pilates, yoga, and like a stretchy routine. So I wasn't pounding out the cardio or the heavy weights, right? Burning a lot of calories that I wasn't going to be able to replenish. Um, so, but I was still working out, right? Um, so I knew I needed, and I was still running, right? So Kevin and I are training for a, a half marathon. So we still did our runs. I knew I was going to need some more food to uh, survive <laughs> over the last three days if I, if I was going to keep doing all that exercise. So as an example, um, I still did my workouts. I still had a cup of black coffee every day and I still had a cup of green tea in the afternoon. Okay. So those are things that if, when you read the plan, it recommends that you cut out all caffeine. A lot of people feel super sleepy over the three days because you're detoxing from that caffeine. Again, this time I I just decided I wanted to keep it in there and, uh, and it did not affect my results one bit. Um, you guys saw my sleep schedule that day. That was awesome. Um, a couple other things is, you know, I added in, um, I added in like some extra, what do you call them? Pumpkin seeds at lunch, just for a little bit extra fat instead of the proposed serving of avocado, which I think is a fourth of an avocado. I had a half of an avocado every day. So I doubled that. Um, and then in the afternoon snack, I increased my almond butter on my celery from like one and a half teaspoons to a tablespoon. So those were, and then you guys saw my first night dinner. I kind of screwed up because my spinach was going bad. So I had to improvise there. But the reason I mentioned that you guys is because this, this plan, you can choose. You can choose to follow it super strictly. Um, I recommend that you do that the first time you do it. But then if you're using it again, you know, quarterly or every a couple times a year it's up to you you just want to do you just want to do what makes your body feel good um, and if you're if you have other goals other than weight loss like just resetting your eating habits um, or you're going to continue working out throughout the program you need to adjust your calorie intake so you don't feel awful over three days right because if you cut your calories and you're still burning calories you're going to end up fatigued with a headache <clears throat> and having a pretty crummy experience okay um, as you saw my final results, right, even increasing those calories and, and still doing my workout, I still lost like seven pounds of bloat. So, um, you know, it works. Um, I think that's it. I, I don't want to ramble on forever, but um, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this. If you are in need of like getting a clean break from the holiday junk food, I highly recommend you guys get one of these. They're, um, they're in your Team Beachbody shop. If you don't know how to find it, I can help you. Um, if you're a coach, you have, you get, you know, your coach discount on them. So they're cheaper. Um, but it's a great way to kick off a new program and it's a great way to wrap up a program. So if you're, um, like say you're finishing up the 21 day fix and you want to really like just go super strict the last, you know, three days after that, make it the 24 day fix. Um, this is a great way to wrap up a program as well, but I typically like to do it after a big holiday, after I've been traveling a lot, when I feel kind of stuck and icky and it definitely helps me feel amazing in the short three days so hopefully this is helpful um you guys can check out my pictures in the album and if you decide to do it you know feel free to post any questions post your progress post your pictures of your food um, show us what you're doing and how it's going and uh, we will support you along the way all right see you later bye